Gary O'Neill has made his way forward. Farouge is tall as well. O'Neill with the clearing header. A chance of a counter attack here from Derry City now. This is a real chance here for Doherty. He's through one on one. Chance for the opening goal of the game, and there it is. 17 minutes on the clock. A classic counter attack. And Derry City have broken the deadlock as Rovers had everybody up the other end for the corner kick as the ball was cleared Derry have scored a perfect smash and grab goal to take the lead it's such a composed finish from him because he's a long way to go to travel with the ball and he's a long time to think about his finish he does really well to hold off the Rovers defender trying to trying to recover and you see it here I think it's a pass not sure who plays the true ball it's patching a little volley over his shoulder and he's away, but he's gone from the halfway line, Con, it's such a long run. It's that Dylan Watts is trying to get back, takes three touches and it's a composed finish under a lot of pressure with Clark coming back. Wonderful goal from Dirty. I suppose with so many red cards already this season, Dylan Watts wasn't going to try a professional foul and take him down. Would have been a pretty much a certain red, right. I think. Cork City are two nil up against uh, UCD at Turner's Cross. Dundalk 2 0 up against St. Pat's at Oriel Park. Scoreless at Tolka between Shells and Bowes. Scoreless between Drada and Sligo Rovers. I just said Pats had started the season really well, too. <laughs> That's a good advantage from the referee, Johnny Kenny, with a chance of an equaliser. He finds the net. What a finish from young Johnny Kenny. His first league goal for Shamrock Rovers, and it's a belter. Yeah, it's a wonderful finish from him. He was he was onto it like a light. His touch sets him just to hit it straight away. Mar gets a little hand to it, but he only pushes it into the roof of the net. He looks so powerful running through on goal. And it's a wonderful finish from him. Great advantage from the referee. Diallo just over commits with the ball. I don't know. He's going across. Tries to play it in. O'Neill steps in and plays. I think he gets a foul here, but the ref plays a wonderful advantage. It's a great ball from Pume. And what a finish. Yeah, Mark comes and then stops, but the power it. just does him. And patching with the foul there. And right on front of the referee's assistant. Free kick to Shamrock Rovers. Yeah, it's really good defending from Kavanagh. Clever as well. He just gets his, gets himself across patch and takes a little bit of contact and it's a foul. The Rovers have taken it quickly. One back by Diallo temporarily. Here's Burke now. Ferruja beside him. Here Ferruja. Trevor Clark in the area now. The shot from Clark and a good save by the keeper. Burke on the follow up oh. puts it wide. A real chance for Shamrock Rovers there. Trevor Clark's effort saved with the legs of Brian Marr. Pat Jennings esque. And Burke couldn't find the net with the rebound. Again, it's the centre of midfield is exposed. I think there you have a player down injured, and that's what they're complaining about. Diallo comes over, he doesn't get it, and then Bork is in down the middle of the pitch. Really good set for Frugia. Frugia feeds Clark, who just hits it across goal. It's a good save from, from Mar with his foot, and it just ricochets around then. Mark Connolly. Graydon. And Patching has it now. Two players inside him. Still has it. Will Patching. Oh, that's a clever ball to Graydon. Really well played. McGonagall, that's a great goal. Derry are back in front. And it's a classy finish from Jamie McGonagall. Really good build-up play. And Derry take advantage. 53 minutes on the clock. And the visitors are back in front. Jamie McGonagall, the score. It's such a, cla it's such a classy finish from McGonagall. You're right, Con. Sweeps it across, he goes to run front post, puts the brakes on, the cutback from Patchen is fantastic, right on the money and he slots it into the far corner. A wonderful finish, Patchen does well after he initially gives the first one away, he reacts to it, plays a clever, this, this little clever ball for Graydon down the outside on the inside of Kavanagh, it's fantastic, you see he just waits a lovely, McGonagall just puts the brakes on, pops out. Sean Kavanagh got his head to it. Shane McElhenney has it for Derry. And now Patrick. Oh, it's a good effort from Patrick McElhenney. A fantastic strike. A really good stop from 
Alan Manis at full stretch, but that's what Patrick McElhinney is capable of. It's his first touch, just he takes it out of his feet on the back foot, drives inside, and you just see him winding up for it. And it's moving all over the place. You see Alan, he probably gets down a little bit early for it, and it pans. And the full-time whistle blows. It's the Derry City fans who are celebrating. A famous win for them at Tallah Stadium. Their first since 2017 in the league. And a big statement by Rory Higgins' men, albeit against a depleted Shamrock Rovers defence. But having got back on level terms for Shamrock Rovers to concede that second killer goal in the second half. Ben Doherty opening the scoring on 17 minutes. Equaliser from Johnny Kenny, a tremendous goal on 27, and then a super goal to win it for Derry on 53 minutes from Jamie McGonagall. Rovers will play Cork City on Monday night. That suddenly becomes an important game now for Stephen Bradley's men. Derry will be back in Dublin to take on UCD.